The sharp rise now has the company market cap at nearly $130 billion, more than Ford and General Motors combined. Investors may have never heard of it, but it only sits behind Tesla with its valuation when it comes to the car makers. It is even worth more than Chinese-based BYD, and that's the second largest global EV maker. It has a market cap higher than Walgreens and Goldman Sachs and even 3M. But why did price gap Friday and then close on the highs? Let's look at this video for an explanation. We're talking VinFast Auto. This is stock ticker VFS. And it, uh, according to the headlines, I guess, is something we should be paying attention to. More valuable than Ford, more valuable than GM. And I gotta be honest, I just heard about this like three hours ago. And the controlling shareholder now is Vietnam's richest man and now the fifth richest person in Asia because of this, this market debut last week when we saw shares surge 500% and making another 30% move to the upside today. So here to tell us now more on this name, I'd like to welcome in Renita Young, Senior Markets Correspondent for the network. So Renita, admittedly like Alex, I also haven't heard of this name, but second most mm -hmm. valuable automaker? I mean, that's unbelievable. I think DJ Khaled would say, and another one. One, and another one, another one. But this stock is charged up and it's been that way ever since it's going public last week through a special going public process. But the stock today, it's up more than 340% week to date. And it's all because the company is actually doing a lot better than what people would have expected. Now, it's at levels now beyond legacy autos, Ford and GM. Its market cap has soared beyond those levels, but it's still not above Tesla, of course. But VinFast has racked up a ton of watchers on social media, on social platforms for investors and traders. We're talking about stock twits. Now, some of the watchers, however, they're wondering whether or not the company really does deserve the type of hype that it's actually getting today because of where the business actually stands on the balance sheet. Now, the underlying business is doing less than $1 billion in revenue, and then the company does have negative cash flow from operations of between down $1.5 billion to $2 Two billion. So for the short term, analysts say, yeah, VinFast is trading on the hype and the momentum, but it's a big question as to whether or not the company can carry this momentum through. I think that's uh, well put, Renita. And, you know, there's not really much to add. The story is like very much developing right in front of us. Mm -hmm. It's not even optionable yet. It hasn't even been around long enough for that. And so there's just not all that much information yet. We know it's based out of Vietnam. We kind of have an idea of what the, the products look like and the, the interest in them. And, you know, but that's about it. This is just the market <laughs> excited about this stock and yeah. it's surging. Any, anything else uh, that you'd add here before we say goodbye? I did read that this company has been importing vehicles to the United States. So they're trying to go for Tesla's market share, of course. I mean, that was another interesting aspect of this report, that we could see them enter the race to be one of the most you know, profitable, successful EV names. Yeah. This is a crowded space, especially out of Asia. We have so many names that have not exactly seen the most stellar week either, but we will leave it there. Renita, thank you for the breakdown as always, and thank you for the DJ Khaled reference. I love, I love that we <laughs> keep bringing him back at this point, but we will leave it there. Before we get into the analysis, let's look at this article. And it is coming from Yahoo Finance by way of Bloomberg. Soaring EV stock, Chanos, calls insane. It's a dangerous short. So Chanos is a Wall Street renowned uh, short seller. And um, pretty much he's saying that Finvas's stock price and valuation is out of this world. So Finvas Auto, head scratching surge, has given the money losing EV startup a bigger capitalization than Citibank with famed short seller Jim Chanos calling the stock valuation insane. The tiny free float also makes VinFast vulnerable to unpredictable swings of the sort that added more than $75 billion to its value this week alone, a jump that helped it overtake GM and Ford in size combined. As keeping short sellers wary, 
even though FinFast Search looks out of step with the fundamentals of a company that's been dogged by poor product reviews and operational problems. FinFast went public via special purpose acquisition company merger this year with blank check company Black Spade Acquisition Co Corp Company founded by Casino Mogul Lawrence Ho. Short sellers bold enough to bet against the company have racked up nearly $1 million in paper losses since the deal closed, according to the data from financial analytics firm S3 Partners. On paper, FinFast is now bigger than f more than 400 of the companies in the S&P 500 after Thursday's jump. Its valuation makes it larger than market staples such as Citigroup and Goldman Sachs. Now, FinFast began building a factory in North, North Carolina this past month. Forecasting sales will reach 45 to 50,000 this year, and the CEO predicts it will break even by the end of 2024. The company expects its revenue to reach 1.88 billion this year, according to an investor's presentation in June, meaning it is trading at multiples of roughly 60 times sales, as far above valuation like peers like Lucid and Rivian Automotive. All right, now let's get back to the chart. So I've done, this is probably my third or fourth video on VinFast. And um, during this initial surge, I had mentioned don't chase price. If you want to get in, uh, wait for price to get back down to uh, roughly the $23 level. Um, however, price came all the way back down um, to test the origin of the gap higher, which was in this $12 range. You could also see that the moving averages also served as dynamic support um, especially the 200 day moving average um, although it hasn't been traded for 200 days but case in point all the moving averages were starting to point up um, serving as a strong um, support level now I did not think that price was going to uh, zoom from uh, $12 to a close of $68 in uh, roughly a week's time precisely now can this run higher it definitely can um, if you do want to chase price you know wait for a rebound to roughly the $45 level before prices continue to move higher however this is just um, a time bomb that's um, gonna explode at some point in the future again only 1% um, of the shares are available for trading the owner owns the other 99% um, total shares um, are roughly 2.4 billion shares and only roughly say 20 to 25 to uh, to 30 a million shares are available for trading and that's why you're getting these crazy moves higher and lower in that there's no liquidity um, and right now you have the uh, retail uh, community uh, bidding up price and you know at some point they're going to be fighting uh, the smart money it's going to be game stock all over again um, but I think in this case um, you know I think the the shorts are going to eventually uh, win out so uh, stay tuned for more updates on VinFast uh, within the next week or two uh, this week should be equally exciting for the bag holders and price action in general thanks for watching subscribe please like the video